Hey everyone, this is part two of our wrinkle editing tutorial series, where we'll look at how you can mix and match different features from different wrinkle templates found within the wrinkle essentials pack. If you're not yet familiar with the wrinkles feature, please check out our getting started or wrinkle concept tutorials first. The wrinkle essentials pack contains five realistic and five stylized wrinkle presets that include custom morphs for shaping smile lines. We're going to look at how we can export aspects of one of these and combine it with another. You can apply all of the presets that you want to see which one looks best on your particular character. In this case, I'm going to go with 4 Deep Uniform for my character. However, when it comes to the lips, I want to use the wrinkles from one shallow uniform to make it a bit smoother. What we need to do then is export the texture maps for both template presets. I'll start off by applying the one shallow uniform template and heading over to the regional influence dummy in the modify panel. We can see here that the lips are categorized as a green area, which corresponds with wrinkle set 1. Therefore, to transfer the lip wrinkle settings over, we need to save out the source texture maps for that set. Once that's done, you'll find all 15 texture maps exported, however we only need the ones for set 1 here. Next, I'll load in the 4 deep uniform template and save out those source texture maps as well. In Photoshop, the first step is to create a 4096 by 4096 project, and then drag in the normal and crease maps for set 1 of the 4 deep template. For simplicity's sake, I'm only using these two texture maps here, but you can achieve a more detailed result by also modifying the other three texture maps for set 1 as well. The background layer is redundant here, so we can simply delete that and proceed to then import in the normal and crease texture maps for the one shallow template as well. You'll definitely want to create some groups and organize the textures for both templates into their respective folders to avoid confusion later on. Select the two maps for each template and press Ctrl G to add them to their own group, and then proceed to name the group appropriately. To begin the transplant procedure, I'll select the normal map for the shallow group and use the lasso tool to encompass the lips area. I'll then select the shallow group and click the select and mask button to generate a mask selection for that area, and then proceed to increase the feather value in the mask properties to get a better fade on the edges of the mask so it blends in better. From there, I'll click the add mask button to generate our mask layer. Now, because the shallow normal map is on top of the deep one in the hierarchy with the mask, when it is visible, it will essentially replace that of the deep group. If the edge of the lip mask is too sharp, you can use the white brush tool to fade the edges a bit for a better blend. From there, you'll want to save out and overwrite the previous normal and crease maps in the deep source folder. Export the normal map as PNG and the crease map as a JPEG. Finally, let's re-import the source maps and see the difference that makes on the lips. In Character Creator, this time we want to select Load All Source Maps and choose the custom folder where we have the updated versions of the normal and crease maps that we just created. Once that loads up, you'll see that everything is the same as the original deep template except the lip wrinkles have now been replaced. That's all there is to it. Here you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of the wrinkle template presets in action combining elements from both. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.